Okay, a couple more going back to the vignette here. Um, so um, let's see here. Dave is asking on the site grading vignette, should you avoid moving the contour lines that are within the drip line of a grouping of trees if they say do not disturb? I think that's an easy one, right? Yeah, that's a, you that's absolutely no. do not. Um, so one, one little trick, I mean, I'll just jump back for a quick sec here. One little trick, which uh, we get into a lot more detail in other, other locations, you can actually add buttons on, on these contours when you hit, uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move something. And you wanna, you wanna add them uh, in locations that are right outside of grouping of trees, for example, so that when you do move one of these things, it doesn't change the contour where the tree is. It's, if you just moved it a little bit, it's, you're not gonna probably kill the tree. I mean, people, you know, add a little soil or cut away a little soil uh, all the time, but you might. And clearly they don't, you know, they want you to understand that you don't want to kill the trees. Uh, on the vignette, uh, that's, uh, excuse me, on the site grading vignette, you don't want to kill any trees. On the site planning vignette, as I said, you have a few trees, five, six, they'll give you a number, I think it's usually six, uh, that you're allowed to take away in order to fit the buildings in. But on this one, absolutely not. Don't kill any of the trees. Don't let any of the contour lines uh, change at the trees or, for example, in these uh, what are referred to as site features, uh, these big rock zones. You can't change anything over there. So you, again, you just add those buttons in so that when you did change, when you did move something, it didn't change those parts. Um, along the similar lines, Betsy asks, uh, can the plaza that's in the vignette cross a drip line? Is there a threshold of, of tolerance if something overlaps? I think that's probably a good yeah, it's a, good, it's a good question. Uh, to be perfectly blunt about it, uh, there, there really is no way to know for sure. Um, I would just try not to do it, but if you found yourself just slightly clipping the drip line uh, and it, you think everything else is doing fine, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, so I know that's kind of vague and I'm sorry, but uh, there's just no way to really know. In general, uh, I, would not, I would try to keep everything out uh, of the drip lines. Kind of similar, this is like, uh, you know, uh, clearly a driveway can, can cross through a, uh, to get from the street to the, um, past the building limit line, right? So you can put a driveway in that space, but it doesn't mean you can put a driveway going uh, parallel with it in that space. Like if you can cross it, but you can't, you can't do other things. So again, even though you could do it, I would try very hard not to do it and keep it as simple and straightforward as you can because you just don't know exactly how they're going to look at it from the computer that's grading you on it. Okay, and um, we're about 10 minutes over, so I'm going to take one more here. Thank you, everybody, for, uh, for asking all these questions. Uh, it's really awesome. Um, George is asking, will photometrics be part uh, of the vignette uh, for parking lots or buildings? Uh, not on the vignette um, under 5.0 maybe, but uh, certainly um, uh, not uh, in 4.0 in the, in the regular vignettes that we have now. Um, there'll be, the, the sort of calculations, the, the, the kind of um, level of detail that you have to go to is really pretty uh, uh, kind of rough justice. Um, you're really talking about how many feet away is the building, how, uh, you know, is the parking lot believable in terms of its size, and trust me, that's plenty. Um, the site planning is actually pretty tough. Uh, it's not that it's complicated, it's not that it's hard to do, it's just, it's weirdly worded, there's a lot of odd elements, you have, you know, trees and, and plazas, and you're trying to figure out, like, well, what, is, I have a, you know, is it a restaurant, or is it a court, uh, you know, is it a, a shopping mall, like you, you're trying to sort of get a handle on all the different parts. So it's pretty complicated just as a base idea. And so the, the gist of the specifics are actually very simple and they've been specifically simplified in order to not make it difficult to do. All right. Good deal. Well, thank you, Mike. Uh, and thanks to all of you who've tuned in uh, and who have uh, submitted your questions today. Yeah, great questions, everybody. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so if you'd like to attend our next ARE Live broadcast, where we'll be discussing the transition from uh, ARE 4 to ARE 5, uh, visit blackspectacles.com, um, where you can register um, on blackspectacles.com slash podcast. 
uh, where you can register to attend. I think that's uh, going to be a really interesting one, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, we're actually going to D.C. Uh, in about two weeks to get the full download from NCARB, so uh, we're going to be, f our heads are going to be uh, full up. of, uh, yeah, full of m more information than we ever wanted to have in our brains about this. Um, but in any case, during that uh, webinar, uh, just like today, you'll have a chance to ask questions and share your answers with Mike, um, you know, for live feedback during the broadcast. To learn more about our AIA ARE prep curriculum, I assume you know about it. Um, it's, you know, over 50 hours of um, uh, instruction that's available on the web, uh, taught by Mike Newman here. You can find that on blackspectacles.com. And for those of you who are ready to start preparing for the ARE, uh, and if you're already an AIA member, you can use coupon code 216 SPD YT15 to get a 15% discount for the entire duration of your AIA ARE prep membership. And then finally, please leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think, share any suggestions you may have. As I always do, I promise we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. So thanks for watching.